This is some archival footage of dwarf cuttlefish, Sepia bendensis. I used to keep these guys about eight years ago, and this clip right here is of the very first cuttlefish I ever hatched. Unfortunately, their lifespan is only about a year, so this is why you really need to get them as eggs. At this point, he's about 24 hours old, maybe less. Uh, the eggs are the size of small grapes, maybe even smaller, and you can purchase them in clusters of 10 or 12 or more. The baby cuttlefish is basically an exact copy of the older ones. They don't really change appearance other than size. You can see here he's changing color. Unfortunately I did shoot this about eight years ago so the quality is not the greatest but it's still not too bad all things considered. These guys are really rewarding to keep and I've been watching some talks on cuttlefish and squid lately and it's really making me miss them. Here's a second clip. And as I mentioned, I had clusters of eggs, so as soon as one hatched, another would hatch, and another. I had really good luck with 90% plus hatch rates. So these guys here are between 0 and 24 hours old in this footage. You can see they're somewhat mimicking the pattern of the bottom of the breeder's box, which is what I used to keep them in. These are just little 6 by 6 or so boxes that were in my frag tank, which became a cuttlefish nursery at the time. Here you can see they've already started to hunt, and what they're hunting is mycid shrimp. I would get them from a laboratory uh, sourced through reed mariculture. So these mycid shrimp were used in experiments, so they were all the same age. They came from a very clean facility, and nothing else came with them, no parasites or anything else. I did try wild caught ones, and they were nowhere near as nice as the laboratory grade ones. Unfortunately, they do need live food when they first hatch. As you can see here, they're already adept at hunting. You can eventually wean them onto frozen food, but given how short they live, it's almost not worth it. Getting mice and shrimp shipped to you weekly, especially when you live in Canada and the laboratories in Florida, isn't cheap, and that's the main reason why I don't have them anymore. Here's a fresh shipment of the mice. Again, they come very clean and healthy. You would never see any dead ones, but that's not to say that none die on en route. They're very cannibalistic, so you have to feed them like crazy. I used to have to hatch baby brine shrimp to feed the mycid shrimp to feed the baby cuttlefish. They would of course also take pellets and other small cyclops sized foods. Here's one more clip of the babies. A few days later and a little bit bigger. It's really incredible watching them change, not only color, but texture as well. I'm going to go through some more videos and upload at least two more clips of the cuttlefish. Hope you enjoyed watching this, and maybe it will inspire you to keep them. Happy reefing!